for the first ever interview and uh, we were both tentative and uh, I all the best to millions of Indians who wants to be at Filmfare Awards this time through Batana Kao Filmfare Jao. See you there. Fantastic. Thank you, Mr. Ali Harris. May I please request Abhishek Bachchan to say a few words. Good evening, members of the media. Thank you, Jitesh, for inviting me to be here. It's always a lot of fun. This is the second time <laughs> I'm announcing um, the press conference for the Filmfare. And um, many, many congratulations to Britannia and to you, sir. Um, it's possibly one of the most prestigious platforms we have in the film industry, and to be associated with it is a matter of great pride, not only for actors, but I hope for you as well. Your promotional activity is brilliant. Uh, can some actors apply for that also? We will eat biscuit, so we will be able In case uh, sometimes, you know, Jitesh has his oops moment where he says, oh, I forgot. So if we don't have an invitation card, we will buy some... Uh, uh, it's the only time actors will be allowed to eat. Um, so thank you for being here. This is wonderful. Um, it's the 60th Filmfare Awards. It's uh, very momentous. And um, as was announced earlier, it is possibly the oldest and definitely one of the most prestigious awards that we have uh, in the Hindi film calendar. So it's... Um, it's a matter of huge pride for every actor to um, just attend the Filmfare Awards. I remember as a child, um, I can pretty much guarantee for most actors, we've all practiced uh, speeches in front of the mirror way before we even became actors. Uh, you think about becoming an actor afterwards, you think about your Filmfare acceptance speech first. So, um, you know, Filmfare has been a huge dream uh, vehicle for a lot of people that are in the film industry today. Filmfare par par ke, and we've all wanted to be part of the Filmfare Awards. I still remember winning my first ever Filmfare. It was um, one of the moments for me in my career so far. It was um, actually good 10 years ago. 2004, I won Best Supporting Actor for, for Yuva. And um, it was made even more special because they were celebrating 50 years of Filmfare. And the statuette was actually gold. So um, I'm one of the lucky few who has actually a gold Filmfare statue. And uh, that statue still sits on my desk. And it's a huge reminder of the high um, expectations that not only Filmfare, but the, the viewing audience has of your work. And you have to work hard every day to try and fulfill it. Um, I actually was just telling Jitesh, I actually won three Filmfares in a row. 2004 for Yuva, 2005 for Sarkar, and then 2006 for... Um, Kabhi Alvida Nakena, the photograph is right there. Uh, unfortunately, that's where my journey with Filmfare ended. Uh, since then, I've been trying to win another award, but um, there have been far worthier people than me that year. So uh, we hope that in the future, I get the opportunity to uh, not just announce the press conference, but uh, give another acceptance speech, which I already have ready. So thank you, Jitesh. Thank you, Times of India. Thank you, Filmfare, for being here. You all have always been such great support and friends to the film industry, and I really do hope um, that you carry on to be exactly that and hold that special place in every actor, technician's heart that you do, and many congratulations to Britannia, and I hope your journey with, with Filmfare is very fruitful. Thank you for Q&A. We have mics in the audience. Hi, uh, Abhishek. You are right. Alok here from OFM. My question is that for the U.A., for the government, and for the government, and for the government, what happened after 2007? It was so long, like about 8 years ago. So, there was no such a film or you thought that you should have to work more? Yes, because Alok, you should always think negative, that's always good. No, you just have to think that there were people that were better and more deserving, and you should work harder. At the end of the day, the film fair is a popular award, it is done through voting. Um, so you just have to accept the fact that the audience felt that somebody else is more deserving. It's nothing to get downhearted about. Um, I look upon it as an inspiration to try and, and try and do better and try and win. So um, I still enjoyed making all my films. They thankfully went on. Some worked, some didn't. Uh, but uh, the award is decided by the audience and they at that point thought somebody else was better. Um, you can vote. Uh, I've had a release I last year. Please vote for me. I, I really want to win the award this year. Okay? You voted for me? Yeah, yeah. Good. Ask another question. 